on the stat sheet. Um, quite amazing, really. Um, we found a way to win, you know, and uh, that's what good teams do is they find a way to win, and we did. You know, Caitlin has ice in her veins. I mean, everybody knows it. And uh, her, you know, she, she made eight threes, and we talked about our three-point defense had to be really, really good against Michigan State. And our goal was to hold them to eight or under, and we held them to seven. So I think that was a very important part for us. Um, that second quarter was probably one of the worst quarters I've seen of Iowa basketball. Um, we shot two for 10 from two point range. Uh, it's just very uncharacteristic. Um, we're low on assists again tonight. So kind of frustrated we kind of quit running our offense in the second quarter and that just allowed them to get back into the game. Kaelin, just take us through that last play. It felt like it was kind of a broken play for a bit, a little bit of fran mm -hmm. frantic movement and then I mean, mm -hmm. obviously your shot. Yeah, I think we were just, definitely wanted to wait and take the last shot as soon as the clock ran out. Um, but those are situations we kind of work on at the end of practice every single day. And um, we ran a play to end on the ball, got it cleanly. And Molly did set a clean pick on my girl, but Hannah's defender was up guarding her pretty well. So um, I think it kind of almost worked out in my favor because my girl kind of almost went for a steal a little bit. And then I was able to get to my step back to my left, which is the shot I kind of want to get to a lot. So. Um, and honestly, when it left my hand, I knew it was going in. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I could make that. And, you know, at the end of the day, maybe we didn't play our best today, but, you know, a win's a win. The Big Ten's really tough. Um, a lot of things we can get better at, like Coach Bluter said, you know, didn't shoot the ball very well. We didn't pass the ball very well. Um, you know, I can take better care of the ball. But, um, yeah, a win's a win. So we're happy about that. Yep. How much of the shooting woes came from their defense? They were really quick and really aggressive. Oh, I agree with you, Susan. I think they were very physical. Um, officials really let it go tonight, um, I thought. Um, I think they were very physical. They were quick. Um, yeah, I think their defense was really good in the quarter court. Much better than I thought it was on film. Their defense aside, what would you like to see more of from your offense tonight? Uh, ball movement. I mean, I thought we were very stagnant. Um, we didn't pass the ball well, didn't really reverse the ball. Uh, we didn't get the ball in to, into the paint and back back out. So I just to me it was all ball movement. We didn't do a very good job of. Molly, what was going through your mind when you were at the free throw line with those uh, three free throw attempts? Uh, just taking it one free throw at a time. Um, I looked over to Coach Jay and she gave me some some good words. And um, but like I said, I was uh, just taking it one free throw at a time and missed it on the first one on purpose. So Caitlin. <laughs> That's love, Molly, honestly. It's really nice. That was a heck of a ball fake she made. Mm -hmm. What happened to draw that foul? Oh, I mean, she just came oh. flying it. Yeah, yeah but she had an unbelievable ball fake. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, she bit on the ball fake, and that was, yeah, she just kind of ran into me, tried to get it off. Talk about your play in the second half. There was kind of a stretch there where uh, no one was really making a shot, and I think you had back to back baskets mm -hmm. for the team. Just talk about kind of what you were able to do for there for a stretch. Yeah, um, Coach Wooder talked about us kind of trying to get to the rim a little bit, uh, north south drives, and so I came in into that quarter. Uh, that's what I was trying to do, and I think I had a, a back down turn around jumper, which I don't think I've ever uh, been able to do before. But um, yeah, no, I mean, that was my, my main focus. So well, when you were pretty close to Caitlin's shot, did you know it was going in? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Molly, I think you had seven rebounds tonight. Uh, just uh, what was that a product of? Um, I, I think my girl was crashing, um, so I was kind of under the the um, hoop a lot. Um, so I think that had a lot to do with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I was in good position to get to get rebounds tonight. Kaylin, you mentioned that you go through the Big Ten slog. There's going to be games like this. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's easy you you win, and it's easier to learn from wins. But just what does being able to pull it out change the perception of what you guys went through tonight from, you know, just a tough night to, well, from a tough night to what it was. Yeah, I think, I think our team has a really good grasp on, we know how tough the Big Ten is. At this point last year, we went to Illinois, our first game in the new year, and it felt like we played a lot like this. They shot the ball, the other team played really well, played aggressive defense, we didn't shoot the ball well, and we ended up losing. Um, but you know, our crowd, it really helps us. This is a tough place to play, and when you have people screaming like that for you, um, you never want to let them down, and we want to defend our home court, and this is a single play. Like, these are games you have to win, um, especially on your home court. So I think that was really important, and, um, yeah, I think it, it's a great example of you better be ready to play for every single person in the Big Ten. Um, but I think Michigan State's really good. I mean, they've given a lot of people really good games. They crushed DePaul. They played Nebraska well. They 
played Creighton well. Um, so they've beat good teams, and um, they definitely came here and, and showed what they're about. So um, you got to give credit to them too. What you know after you make a shot like that? I mm -hmm. mean, who? I mean, do you kind of black out or what? What? what, what, what who are yeah. you looking for? I mean, what? Uh... I almost started laughing, kind of honestly, um, and then I just kind of ran to the other end of the floor, and um, my teammates were there and celebrating with them, and. I think everybody was like, oh, thank God, like this game's kind of over with. We don't have to go to overtime. And, um, you know, it was ugly, but it was a win. And that's really all that matters at the end of the day. And, um, you know, we have, a, we have a road trip to prep for tomorrow that we come back and practice and learn from this and, you know, get ready for the, the next Big Ten game. And that's what's so great about the Big Ten. Every single night you play, you got to be ready to go. Um, and I think this is another learning example for our team is like people are going to want to beat us. They're going to play better when they play the Iowa Hawkeyes. And, um, you know, I thought we could have done a little better job on offense and defense overall. Lisa, how much easier is it to go back and, you know, watch the film and go to the team and say, here's what we need to do better, even though we won, we won the game rather than, you know, we lost the game. Here's what we need to do better. Oh, so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier, yeah, definitely. You guys were down eight to nothing, right, to start the game, and then the crowd just sort of went bonkers. Did that really affect you? Did, it, did that give you a lift? Absolutely. Players? Yeah. I mean, I think when Mal or when Gabby made that three and we called timeout, the place was really, really loud. And um, you know, they were getting after it on defense. They were super loud on defense with us. And um, you know, we're really thankful for our crowd. They're they're incredible to show up at 8 p.m. on a Tuesday and. Um, to be as loud as they are and as invested as they are, it's it's pretty incredible. It's special, and the amount of young kids that are probably staying up past their bedtime to be here is cool too. But yeah, we can hear them, and um, we didn't start the game very well, but we responded every single time throughout the game. And I think that's what I'm proud of is this group never really hung our heads. We just kind of got back after it. Caitlin, can you describe that emphatic block in the paint in those in the waiting seconds there? What was that like? Yeah, well, we needed a defensive stop, obviously. <laughs> and um, I, the girl, I don't think saw me at all, and she had just missed the layup and kind of grabbed her own miss and went, was about to go up for it, and she she didn't see me at all. And I kind of just, my girl was behind, and she had no chance of passing it to her, so I kind of just ran in there and volleyball spiked it. I never played volleyball, but <laughs> probably about as best of block I could give you. So, um, and then Kate crawled the rebound, and then we I think we called timeout and advanced it from there. So. Um, yeah, just come up with a big stop, honestly. So what are your overall thoughts on, on how the defense played tonight? Michigan State's been able to score a lot of points in, in several games this season. Yeah, I'm happy with our three-point defense. Uh, again, they're averaging 11 threes. I think that's really important that we held them down in their threes. Um, you know, I, I think we gave up too many paint points, though. Uh, but you're going to give up a few more when you're concentrating on stopping threes, so that's going to happen. Um, yeah, I mean... I'm not sure. I, I don't feel like it was a, a – again, I'm, I'm happy with the three-point defense.